Welcome back to my channel, Stefan Wolf is here, sharpening video as usual. Today something a little different, a French folding knife, a traditional one. I will not try to pronounce the name of the maker or the manufacturer, because I will butcher it. What you want to know is that is uh, let's say 7.58 cm blade from 12C27 Sandwich Swedish steel. You see pictures of the working of sharpening choil and the not finished tip unfortunately or damaged in use. So before sharpening one of my favorite tools is 3.5 mm in diameter file from Baco. These are made in Portuguese. So let's remove the stone <coughs> and do a small sharpening chop. The idea behind creating sharpening chop or putting one in the beginning when the knife is manufactured is to make sure that in consequence of sharpening of the blade you will create a recurve. So I hope you can See that a little bit more from the speed and the way that the file is cutting. I can assume that the blade is hardened uh, just fine, nothing fancy, nothing special, not too high. Let's say 56 or 57 on the HRC scale. Rounding from the two sides. And I think we are ready. So, uh, by the way, new containers for keeping my, my mineral oil that is food safe, mineral oil for cutting boards from IKEA, and the small containers are from IKEA. 3.4 ounces or 100 milliliters, very handy and extremely cheap. So about the situation with the tip. I will grind the new one on the corners of the stone just to create even wear on the sharpening surface. And I'm using Northern India Fine. I'm not using the coarse one because for such steel or such hardness there is no need. The fine will work just fine. Checking the progress. Alternating the two sides to create even edge grind. And I am happy with the result. I'm not sure that my camera is focusing. So, 
sharpening. The blade is relatively thinly ground, so it won't be very long sharpening session. I really think that North India Fine is one of the better or some could say the best budget sharpening stone out there if you choose to buy just one and uh, you deal with common stainless and carbon steels nothing too fancy nothing too hard with too many vanadium, tungsten, cobalt, nickel, etc. And of course from time to time I'm alternating the sides to ensure even wear of the stone. So in my opinion I established the edge and we will try yes we are close enough so going to whiter passes By the way, very comfortable handle, uh, typical construction with metal liners, a back spring with some firework and horn. Let's see, cow horn or buffalo horn. I don't think this knife is very expensive. Yes, I'm very happy with the result from this stone. And I'm switching to Awashita, a natural stone from Arkansas. You can hear the difference, the different pitch in the sound. On this stone I will refine the scratch pattern left by the India stone, which is man-made aluminum oxide stone with this dig from the ground stone which basically is a piece of quartz or quartz rich rock called Novakalite and I'm changing you can hear the different pitch a little bit angle to create small micro bevel now on the first angle just to thin the behind edge just the way to the knife it's a mess in my kitchen sorry about that I try to be more presentable but we were a couple of days away in the weekend, so nothing is where it should be. And of course, it's very important to leave the kitchen in good condition because your spouse won't be happy about that. And I think this is sharp enough pocket knife uh, this knife is not mine it was given to me for sharpening by a French fellow who lives 
here in Bulgaria these days and it is great aficionado of eating cheese and drinking beer in my favorite pub so you saw Northern India fine and Washita stone of course very important work with the round file to create choil which will make future sharpenings much easier and much more pleasant again French traditional knife in nice quality stainless steel 12C27 thank you for watching my videos and have a nice day